For years, Elon Musk's vision for SpaceX was built on one principle, reusability. Starship was to be the ultimate reusable rocket, flying, landing, and flying again like an airliner. The world watched as SpaceX chased this dream through explosive test flights, each one inching closer to perfecting re-entry and landing. Then in a stunning twist, Musk began to suggest abandoning reusability altogether, proposing Starship as a massive, expendable rocket. This reversal shocked the industry, upending nearly a decade of expectations and plans. Suddenly, the goal shifted from sustainable transport to sheer, overwhelming power. Agencies and competitors, just catching up to the idea of reusability, now faced a new paradigm. Brute force over elegance. SpaceX's relentless pace in 2025 had already left regulators and rivals scrambling. This pivot added a new layer of uncertainty. The message was clear. Musk wasn't just aiming to lower costs but to leap so far ahead that competition would become irrelevant. The great reversal wasn't just technical, it was a bold declaration of dominance in space. The world was forced to reconsider what Starship truly represented, a tool for Mars or a weapon of industrial might. Why abandon reusability? The answer is brutally simple, weight and complexity. Starship's heat shields, flaps, landing legs, and re-entry propellant are all heavy, intricate systems, dead weight on the way up. Strip them away, and Starship becomes dramatically lighter, cheaper, and easier to build. No more painstaking tile inspections or complex flap engineering, just a streamlined tank with engines optimized for one-way trips. Every kilogram saved is a kilogram added to payload. The trade-off sacrificed the ship to maximize cargo. Starships would be mass-produced for single, spectacular flights like disposable sledgehammers instead of reusable scalpels. This approach sidesteps the technical nightmares of re-entry and landing which plagued test flights with explosions and failures. An expendable starship simply delivers its payload then burns up or drifts away, no return, no recovery. It's a pragmatic if less romantic solution. Bypass the hardest problems and focus on raw performance. The result? A rocket built for industrial might, not operational elegance. The expendable model bets on scale, speed, and simplicity. It's a radical shift, one that could change the economics of space forever. Without reusability hardware, Starship's payload capacity soars to an unprecedented 250 metric tons to low Earth orbit. That's more than double the legendary Saturn V, and far beyond any rocket in existence or development. The space launch system can lift 95 tons, most commercial rockets just 25. Starship isn't just a step forward, it's a quantum leap. This brute force lift changes everything. No more folding satellites like origami, no more assembling stations piece by piece. Imagine launching an entire space station in one go, or sending massive industrial equipment into orbit. The cost per kilogram could plummet, even for expendable vehicles, if starships are mass-produced cheaply. Suddenly, bulk transport to space becomes viable, opening the door to true space industrialization. This isn't incremental progress, it's a new class of launch vehicle, making all others seem obsolete. SpaceX's move isn't about out-innovating on reusability, it's about making scale itself the ultimate advantage. At the core of Starship's power is the Raptor engine, specifically the Raptor 3. This engine is a marvel, more powerful, more efficient and cheaper to produce, designed for mass production. The Super Heavy booster uses 33 Raptors, generating more than twice the thrust of Saturn V. Raptor's full-flow staged combustion and methane fuel aren't just for performance, they're chosen for future Mars missions. For expendable Starship, Raptor 3 can be optimized for single use, prioritizing power and cost over durability. The focus shifts from perfect, reusable engines to thousands of reliable, disposable ones. This industrial approach underpins the entire expendable model. Mastering Raptor 3 gives SpaceX a technological edge years ahead of rivals. It's the secret sauce that makes the brute force strategy possible. The Raptor engine is the fire-breathing heart, powering a new era of access to space. With 250 tons to orbit, Starship turns science fiction into reality. Imagine launching a fully integrated space station in one flight, no assembly, no years of waiting. Research, tourism, and manufacturing in space could leap forward overnight. For planetary science, the expendable Starship shatters old limits larger, faster missions to Jupiter, Saturn, even Uranus on timelines that fit a scientist's career. In planetary defense, it could launch massive payloads to intercept asteroids, giving humanity a credible shield against existential threats. Militarily, the ability to deploy vast constellations or deliver hardware anywhere on Earth in under an hour would transform global power dynamics. 
the expendable starship isn't just a rocket, it's a tool for building, exploring, and defending on a scale never before possible. The missions it unlocks are limited only by imagination, and by who controls the launch pad. The future of space is suddenly much much bigger. An expendable starship isn't just a technological leap, it's a geopolitical earthquake. For the first time a private company could outpace every nation in space access. Space once the domain of superpowers now risks becoming the playground of a single corporation. NASA, the military and global agencies would depend on SpaceX for heavy lift, placing immense power in the hands of one CEO. This creates a new kind of dependency, where corporate decisions can outweigh national policy. Other nations' billion-dollar rockets could become obsolete overnight, deepening the global space gap. Who gets to build in orbit, explore the solar system or defend Earth could be decided by one company. Existing regulations are already strained. The environmental and political fallout of weekly super-heavy launches is uncharted territory. The prospect of a private monopoly on space access raises urgent questions about governance, oversight, and global equity. The balance of power in space and on Earth may never be the same. Musk's expendable starship promises a future of abundance, cities in orbit, rapid planetary travel and planetary defense. But this vision comes with risks, environmental damage, regulatory chaos, and unprecedented concentration of power. The fail-fast approach has already strained ecosystems and oversight, raising questions of corporate responsibility. If one company controls access to space, who holds it accountable? Who ensures this power serves humanity, not just profit or national interest? Our social and political frameworks lag far behind the technology. Before we build cities among the stars we must decide what kind of society we want, on Earth and beyond. The starship is more than a rocket, it's a mirror reflecting our ambitions and anxieties. Are we ready for the world it will create?